Hey there, welcome back to Digital Design Tips. Uh, today I'm going to show you what a vector file is, especially compare it to an image file like a JPEG or a PNG. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you here, uh, see if we can click on this guy. Let me zoom in there a little bit. And all these points are editable. Uh, and this is computer generated uh, artwork. So it can zoom all the way in. See that? Sharp uh, edges all the way, perfect because it's not a photograph, uh, it's a vector file. That's a big difference, especially when you're talking about uh, you know, screen printing this or having it printed in a catalog form or whatever. Uh, it needs to be a sharp edge like this. So, um, and not made up of pixels, that's really the big deal. So I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna place a JPEG of the same thing in there. And you can see, see this now, this is an image. It's a JPEG. Uh, zoom all the way in there. Can't do anything to it. See, it's pixelated because it's made of pixels. And I uh, try to click on there, it just selects the whole thing. Yeah. And there's uh, not much we can do with this other than just you know, print it as is. So if you're uh, trying to, let's say, print something behind it, you know, uh, like this is a good example. I'm going to make a, I'll make a red box and I'm going to stick this red box behind it and move it back. Now you see this, this is still the image. There's not much you can do to it. Uh, you know, it's got a white background. It's got uh, pixelated edges. You zoom all the way in and that's what you get. It, you know, over here, you see the difference of this guy. Now that's a vector file. Uh, you can even click on this guy and probably... Uh, yeah, see that? So they're editable, they're computer generated, they're extremely high resolution because the resolution really isn't even exist. It's whatever it needs to be. Uh, the printer will print these as dots instead of pixels, just like super high resolution like you're seeing. Um, it won't have to assume any any colors, which is what's happening uh, when you get close here. See that? We're, we're now, uh, you know, there's little grays and it's a white to gray to black transition on the edge, which is causing it to be blurry. That doesn't exist in vectors. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that... Uh, solves that for you. Uh, there's a big need for vectors, so uh, it's always good to know what they are. And then they're also called uh, AI files because Adobe Illustrator, that's primarily where people create vectors, so uh, be aware of that too. AI file, they're, they're really talking about a vector file uh, and they're not looking for an image and you can't simply put a JPEG into an Illustrator file like I just did here. You need to have the artwork created as vector. Uh, if someone's asking you for a vector file or an illustrator file. So uh, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, and check out my other videos if you need help with anything else. Thanks.